Hello students, here we are going to learn about wavelength stabilization. So the wavelength drift due to the temperature variation of some of the key components used in W system is quite small. So consider the typical multiplexer and demultiplexer made of uh, silica or silicon. Uh, so have temperature coefficient 0 0.01 nanometer per degree Celsius. So in case of DSB laser have a uh, temperature coefficient is like a 0 0.1. So the DFB laser source used in most system is a key element that must be kept wavelength stabilized. So in the pr uh, practice we consider that it may be sufficient to maintain and the temperature of the laser fairly constant within a plus or minus 0 0.1 degree celsius so which would stabilize the laser to within a range of uh, plus or minus 0 0.01 so uh, which uh, could be stabilized properly so the laser comes packed with the uh, thermistor so and uh, known as a thermoelectric cooler so the temperature can be sensed by monitoring the resistance of the uh, thermistor and can be kept constant by adjusting the drive current in the particular T polar. So the laser wavelength can also change because of aging effect or over a long period of time. So the laser manufacturer usually specify this parameter uh, typically around plus or minus 0. Point uh, 0.1 nanometer. So uh, the small portion of the laser output can be tapped off and sent to the wavelength discriminating element such as optical filter called as a wavelength locker. So the output of the wavelength locker can be monitored to establish the laser wavelength uh, which can then controlled by adjusting the laser temperature. So depending on the temperature range uh, needed, so typically consider as a minus 10 to 60 degree Celsius, clear? For equipment in the central office. So according to that, it may be necessary uh, to temperature control the multiplexer and uh, demultiplexer as well. Or so if the multiplexer and demultiplexer are exactly aligned uh, at, so said that the 25 degree Celsius is the ambient temperature as the two end of the link could be uh, different by 70 degree Celsius assuming the given numbers. So the uh, temperature coefficient uh, considered as a 0 0.01 nanometer per degree Celsius, uh, we could get a point, uh, 0 0.7 nanometer difference between the center wavelength of the multiplexer and the multiplexer, which is clearly uh, intolerable if the interchannel spacing is only 100 gigahertz. So an additional factor uh, to be considered in the dependence of the laser wavelength on its drive current, typically uh, between the 100 megahertz per milliampere to 100, uh, 1 gigahertz per uh, milliampere. So a laser is uh, typically operated in one of two mode, constant output power and constant drive current. So and the drive circuitry uh, incorporate feedback to maintain this parameter at constant value. So keeping the drive current constant ensure that the laser wavelength does not shift because of uh, current changes. So however, as a laser ages, so it requires more drive current to produce the same output power so that output power may decrease with time. So on the other hand, keeping the power constant may require the drive current to be increased as the laser edges including a small uh, wavelength shift.